Nari. Herman yes. is waiting. Herman is now going to teach in Sony about the wormery. And Stefan is also going to put his input in here. <laughs> so we brought in the worms and we got it as a present. And we actually did a. No baby. Huh? Did we did a trade for oil. a bucky load of elephant dung for. A yogurt container full of worms. So, so our worms the were then uh, multiplying because of the the food in the elephant dung that they're getting, and we're going to transfer them into that new bucket that doesn't have worms. Goodbye. That is a very small baby worm, or a red ringle, red ringler, wiggler, wiggler. Um, so Herman is also now very excited spotting them it's a, a springtail yeah and then we've got a, a springtail there where is he now that little white guy where is he now here we go on my finger oh, you see that's a little white um, oh sorry wrong hand <laughs> um, white little insect and Stefan can tell you more about so them. They, they like the, the clean-up crew, so they, they come in afterwards. Um, and they, all the, the waste that the, that the although with the, with the earthworms we want the waste, because that's what we use as fertilizer, but anything that the earthworms don't break down or the wigglers don't break down, they will, they will also eat. So it just helps to, to make sure that the, the boxes are clean and it shows you that it's actually a very healthy system because of, of the fact that you've got all this it's almost like a biodiversity that you've, you've got in these boxes and all of it's kind of working to, to breaking down the, the all the food and the, the biomatter that we, we're putting in here because it's a lot of yes it's putting words in here look at this now this is just casings there we go okay look at that worms so this is all the worms that we're going to throw in there and then move them to the others Come, Kinsani. You can tell me, but we can also take that big round um, bucket that we've got. You know, the round ones. So, Herman used to be very good in looking after our wormery at Jabalani. And that was actually the reason why I decided to use Herman with the elephants. Because I always thought if you can work and you can look after worms, you'll definitely be able to look after elephants. And now we're continuing with the wormery. And hopefully we can grow and expand this project. She was. <laughs> These small ones and big Sorry. ones and quite a variety in there. Look at that. Big mama. Oh. And we're going to transfer them into that new bucket that doesn't have worms. So basically, Herman is now just wetting all that um, elephant dung that we've put in, and that's also some soil that has been in there. And then we've got all the casings which is underlying there, which we are looking forward then using in our all erosion plants or banner grass. And, but now the, the big work is to take out all the little worms and take them from this side and then actually put them into the little container.